Ah, oh, it's that day again. Oh, most amazing day. Say, beer Thursday. Look at that. All the beer that tastes so good. Sex beer. Or stars on the ceilings. Also called sex beer. I probably shouldn't say that. I don't know. Probably get, oh, wait. I'm live. I can say whatever I want. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. And it is a Thursday beer night edition here. Oh, it's probably going up Friday morning. So cheers, everyone. Well, I'm having a sip of this. Hit my music. That was probably a little bit more than a sip. Wow. That beer was good. I'm not here to do a beer review. Though I should. That would be expensive. I do want to get my Space Hamster Ball beer the, when I go up to Jacksonville. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. Work permitting. Um, I have some apologies to give out. I am so sorry, folks. I missed Slime Anniversary. I've never missed Slime Anniversary. I don't even know when Slime Anniversary was. For the most part, I've been working every Thursday. And last Friday, or last Saturday, was Slime Anniversary. Like the one Saturday night I had off. So, yeah, we'll see. A um, couple things, though. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It is Forbidden Door by AEW. So I'm going to butcher some of these names. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what. They charge you 50 bucks for the pay-per-view. 8 p.m. Jeez, till midnight. I hope. If not, I'm calling it at midnight. Because, I mean, some of these matches should not go too long. So let's get into this. But before I do that, I have to thank someone. I need, and I haven't done this in a while. Danta. Yes. Hide by the pay-per-view just for that seven-star classic match. Over at Steve Sear, Russell Juice. Um, he was, re he was uh, recapping or saying, giving every match at Forbidden Door. A grade. Um, some were A, some were Fs. I think one or two was an F because we're like, huh? So my smart comment was the one match I want to see is Dan Housen versus Toro Yano. Nothing else could matter. Dan Housen in this corner from parts unknown or parts fun known. Dan Housen. He's mostly evil, but mostly good. And in this corner, from the land of the rising sun, DVD video star and pro wrestler, Toro Yano. That's the match I want to see. That could be a good 10 minute long comedy match. Just ridiculousness. Play the tequila song for Dan Housen. Have Toro Yano hawk his DVDs. Just have pure chaos. And you can tell, I have no idea because I'm wearing my clothesline wrestling shirt. My very first wrestling t-shirt I ever purchased for myself. I think I got this because I went to a, um, oh geez. The, the now defunct WCPW show in Orlando. But yeah, Dante, you know what? This video goes out just for you. So it has been a while since I've given 
thank you video and you shall go on the hobo list if you ever reply to me a lot more times <laughs> yeah unfortunately you know what I'll limit it to 10 10 more times Danta becomes a wrestler in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League but without any further idea because of the myths let's get into Forbidden Door but before that let me have a sip of this most delicious delicioso primo beer We need the money shot. There we go. Ah, that is good tasting. Just the right amount of bitterness, a little blueberry taste. It's not bad. It's not like blueberry Budweiser. Like I told the one guy, he's like, where's the place I can get a steak and beer? You don't mind paying for it. I know the places. I don't go there because I don't want to pay for it. Whole other issue though. Let's see here. Um, starting off this show, I guess. Um, I might skip this. I might probably cook through this. We have Athena versus Billy Starkey, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm going to take a snooze through this match. Athena wins. Like, who cares? That's an absolute throwaway match. Some of these matches, I have no idea why. So, yeah. Uh, then we'll have... Then there's... I think I just did the women last. The women first get them out of the way. Tony Storm versus Willow Nightingale. I don't know why this is a Forbidden Door thing. It's, it's AEW versus ROH. Although Willow Nightingale is the... New Japan Strong Woman's Champion Tony Storm does feel like a traditional does feel like transitional champion Willow Nightingale yeah mainly because I can't see New Japan you know to add some oomph to that belt Tony Storm's not really doing anything much they don't do much with the women period Chris Statlander. I've always been up there on her, though. You know, I always like the Andromeda Galaxy gimmick, though. But that's a whole other issue. Uh, let's see. Then we have Orange Cassidy versus Zack Sabre Jr. Versus Cut... I always butcher his name. Katsuyori Shibata versus Daniel Garcia. I don't see any titles being changed. I mean, Orange Cassidy versus Danhausen versus Toriano would be a great triple threat match. That would be utterly ridiculous. I'd love to see how Toriano reacts to both Danhausen and Orange Cassidy, but to have Orange Cassidy in a serious match? I hate to say it, that international championship, the All Atlantic title, is really a joke. AEW has way too many belts. They have to ting, get that out of here. Orange Cassie's going to win. He's going to retain his belt. That'll be a fun fun enough match. I saw this match. I'm like, this is easy. This is my stone cold lock of the night. We have CM Punk versus Satoshi... Kojima. Listen, folks. CM Punk's going to win. CM Punk is going to get the Bret Hart Championship. Or is he going to face... That's weird. Adam Cole, baby! Boom! Has the own heart belt. Another useless belt there is. I have no idea. Um, you know what? CM Punk's going to win. I, it should be a good enough match. Oh, please. Oh, please, dear gracious Lord, merciful God in heaven, do not make this be a 20-minute match. 10 minutes at most. 
maybe 15 with entrances and exits. Please. Oh, please. Again, that's like, I don't know, given. Then we have the Jericho Appreciation, Jericho Appreciation Society of Chris, Je Chris Jericho, the pain maker, and Shamu Guevara. And Minoru Suzuki taking on Sting, Darby Allen, and someone unknown from Jericho's past. I'm hoping it's someone like Naito. I would, I would lose it if they waste Toro Yano in the spot. Naito would be good. Who else would there be? See, I don't know who he wrestled in, in New Japan. I haven't followed New Japan because they come on at like three in the morning for their show, and they and they gave me a, a copyright zonk. So so they get zonked too. Um, Sting, Darby Allen, and Mystery Person. They're gonna win. So that's that. Then, ah, uh, this is just a match just to like give people some money. I think New Japan said, "Hey, we need to, we need to pay us." So it's gonna be the the Blackpool Combat Club, which includes John Moxley. Cesar, uh, Cassio Cadnoe, I butchered that, and uh, what's his face, crap, forget, oh, I know it's those three, um, along with Takashita and, and, Sh and Shooter Yuta, I just remember Shota, because he was, Dean Ambrose's or John Moxley's young boy in Japan. Um, geez, I forget that one guy's name now. AEW's gone, gone all goofy with me. They're going to take on uh, the Hung Bucks of Hangman, aye, aye, aye. Adam Page, Matt, and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Along with Eddie Kingston and Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, the Young Bucks, Eddie Kingston and Tomoharu Ishii are going to win. Somehow. I almost put that as my snooze match because that's kind of useless. You know what? You know what I'm going to do during that match? I'm going to do this during that match. And do a lot of that. Uh, let's see here. You have Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. Uh, Will Ospreay's the U.S. Championship. Again, they're not going to switch any belts. Will Ospreay's going to win. That's going to be a good enough match. Like, why they're doing this match? Sonata versus Jack Perry. Why are you going to have... Why, like, this is probably why they had that five-person match. Hey, listen. We need to put our people on the show. And we want him to win. So Sonata crushing Jack Perry makes sense. I mean, that's almost a dual Stone Cold lock. Jack Perry's not going to win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. That's redonkulous. It's not even worth being ridiculous. It's redonkulous. And I have no idea what the main event's going to be because either one, this is going to be a co-main event. Um... MJF versus Takahashi, Hirotsu Takahashi, the ace. I can't see them switching that belt. And I think we've seen this match before, too, on TV. A MJF wins. Yeah, the belt's not going to change. Now this is my match of the night. And it really is the only dream match on this. Kazuchika Okada. 
the Rainmaker versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. So yeah. I actually have Kazuchika Okada going over. And again, I think this is more of a poli pol uh, political choice. Because I can't... Kazuchika Okada is almost the face of New Japan Pro Wrestling. When you think of New Japan Pro Wrestling, you probably think of... I mean, I think when you say New Japan... Besides all the factions, uh, Los Ingobernales de Japan, Chaos, Suzuki Goon, um, and Bullet, Bullet, Bullet Club for life, and and Taguchi Japan, yeah. Bullet Club, Los Ingobernales de Japan, uh, Taguchi uh, Club, yeah, Taguchi Japan, uh, Bullet Club, Chaos, and Suzuki Goon. I know I added something there. Suzuki Goon, Bullet Club, Chaos, Los Ingobernales de Japan, and, and Taguchi, Taguchi, Taguchi's group. So yeah, um, you think of those, actually I think five things, five factions, and then in my mind, Minor Kazushiko Okada, because he's been champion forever, Minoru Suzuki, Toro Yano, I can understand, no one's probably heard of Sonata, Kenny Omega I still think of in New Japan, um, Gorillas of Destiny, and uh, Naito. So yeah, those are probably like the five, five main things. Yeah, the five groups and the five main and the five main people I can think of. So yeah, um, Kazuchika Okada is not going to lose. I don't care who he's facing. He could be facing Hulk Hogan, and Hulk Hogan's doing the job for him. Prime Hulk Hogan. The machoist men of the mall, the macho king himself, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. I do the job to Kazuchiko Kara. Yeah. I shake his hand first and then slap him in the face. And it's on. Like Donkey Kong, because I'll do 360 and 360 again. And the cream always rises to the top. I am the epitome of power, the power that everyone else is judged upon. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Then I did wear my Macho Man shirt today, and people were like, Macho Man. I said, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Again, he is. So I can't, I can't see him losing, though. It's my match of the night. Kazuchika Okada wins. He defeats Brian Danielson. End of story. Um... I should be following this up Monday with a how did I do video. I might be doing that. Again, I do apologize for not having as much wrestling content in. Um, definitely the one job. I know this week I work Sunday 11 to 7 Monday. was 6 to 11.30. Tuesday 6 to 11.30. And I had to qualify. Wednesday I had to go shopping. Thursday, this was kind of my re relaxation day. Did a little shopping. Actually, went to a mall. I haven't been to in a while. While tomorrow, I work four. I work nine to three thirty online, and four to eleven thirty at a location. Saturday, I work ten to two or ten to two thirty online, and then three to eleven forty-five because I changed my schedule. And next week, it's. 11 to 7 Sunday, so I will be able to see the show, and I should be able to stream it, and shoot, I gotta make wrestle card for it, I might do that Sunday, um, I might build that during like the odd intermittent times, so you guys will get to see a little bit of behind the webcam of Hobo Tom, 
So I know I work Monday, I think 3.15, which is weird, to 11.30. Tuesday, I think it's four till close. Wednesday and Thursday, I have off. Friday, I think it's four or five to 11.30. And Saturday's 11 to five, which is nice. It gives me, oh shoot. I have to look that up. I have to hope and pray for that. And then I still also work my other job online, so. Chaos!